everyone and welcome to Dixie Belle Paints YouTube channel. I'm Laura from Cherub's Chalks Interiors. I'm a content creator for Dixie Belle Paint and today I'm going to show you how I gave this vintage desk a refresh using their products. This lever writing pad has definitely seen better days. It's marked and faded in some areas. However, there are no tears or holes, which means that I don't have to replace it. The pine has been heavily waxed over the years and it's looking really rather orangey and worn so I'm going to remove this with white spirit and steel wool. I dip the steel wool in the white spirit and then I scrub at the wax to break it down. You may need to go over this a few times if the wax is really thick. So now that the wax is removed, it's time to sand. I'm using a 120 grit sandpaper just to smooth it slightly, but I don't want to get rid of all of that character as I think that it adds a lot of charm. Next up, I'm cleaning with white lightning, which I've mixed up into a spray bottle. Obviously, I want to clean all those years of grime away, but also on the wood, I need to remove all traces of the white spirit. Once it's thoroughly clean, I will rinse down with water to remove any residue left from the white lightning. Now I'm going to use masking tape to tape off the wood around the leather writing pad. I want to paint and stencil the leather top without getting any paint onto the wood. I've chosen collard greens in the chalk mineral paint range. This is a deep dark green, which I think will look really authentic on the leather. My intention is for this to appear as if it is the original leather. So I'm using a synthetic bristle brush to get a really smooth finish so that you can't see any brush marks or indication that it is actually a painted surface. To add some interest to the top, I've chosen the Harlequin stencil, which is actually a stencil that I've never used before. So let's give it a go. I'm only looking for a subtle stencil effect, so I'm going to mix some of the collard greens with some gold digger. This will give it a hint of gold, which will tie in with the handles, and because of the metallic pigments in the paint, it will also have a lovely sparkle. So now I'll put the Harlequin stencil into position. I've got my paint in a roller tray. I've also got some paper. This is to wipe the excess off the roller as you don't want to apply too much paint in one go as this can cause bleed through on the stencil. So it's better to do multiple thin layers to create a good finish. Once that's all dry, I'm going to come back with some clear Bestang wax to seal and protect the paint. I apply the wax with a natural bristle brush and then I come back and buff with a sponge. So it's time to give the wood a little bit of TLC. I'm going to be using Voodoo Gel Stain in the shade O Natural. To apply this, first I spritz the wood with some water using my spray bottle. I then grab a blue sponge to wipe on a thin layer of the Voodoo Gel Stain. I apply this evenly, wiping off any excess as I go. Again, we wait for that to dry and now I'm gonna come back to protect with some wax. I apply this just like I did to the leather top, using my natural bristle brush and buffing off with a sponge. Now I want to add some depth and character using the brown wax. Again, I'm going to apply this all over, but this time I'm using my French tip. Any natural bristle brush is great to use with the wax. And always remember to buff off the excess before it dries. So I've reattached the handles and now she's ready to shine. I loved the natural wood grain on this piece and now it looks so much better since it's been toned down. It looks fresher and so much more modern. I'm also super pleased with how the leather top turned out. I'm so glad that you joined us today. Please let me know in the comments what you think to this transformation. 
And remember, if you'd like to see more of my work, then you can go and follow us on all of the social media platforms at Cherubs Chalks Interiors. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your post notifications to get notified when we next post. Thanks for watching and see you next time.